We got a JLT 3.0 oil separator, better known to most of y'all as a catch can. We're gonna do a quick install on this 2013 charger with the 5.7. Show you step by step how to install it. This is a um, nice model, quick, easy uh, plug and play option and talk a little bit more about why you might want to add one to your vehicle. For this 2013 Charger, the reason we went with the JLT 3.0 is because it's a, first of all, it's nice looking. It's all built aluminum, it's like a satin black. It's got um, grips on the end of the canister to help you when you're removing it. It's got a O-ring seal inside there. The kit comes with all the hardware, all the lines you need. It's got the bolts. They um, actually bolt into an existing bolt hole in the block. It comes with your mounts all your hoses. All you have to do is remove the old hoses and plug these right in. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove your existing line coming from your PVC pipe going into your intake. Shouldn't need much more than a pair of pliers. Remove this. May even pop out. Easy. Just like that, and you got that removed. Next you want to do is go and take this side right here and just turn it. Facing the front where your catch hand is going to be located so your lines can run right in. Uh, move this harness over to the side. We're going to take the um, mountain bracket that comes with it. And they already send you a metric 13 bolt that goes right into the existing hole inside the block. All right, the correct thread for the head. So for starters, we're just going to mount it um, finger tight just to get it where we need it. And just like that. Next, we're going to mount our canister. It comes with two um, screws that hold it in place. All right, once we got that set up, we're gonna take the lines that come with it and go into our pre-existing fittings. Just like that. And take this line. And there you go. Um, the last thing you want to do is just tighten up everything. Make sure you bolt, you go back and re-tighten this. And you're pretty much done. Now that we got it installed, we're going to show you exactly how you change it and you clean it. You come in for your oil change, put your hand right down here. Just grab those nice grips they got at the bottom. Take it out, get you some, and you'll dump out your fluid. Just add a little bit of oil to your O-ring. Make sure you got plenty of oil around that. Set the canister back up. Put his hand tight. You see the O-ring seal. And now that we've got this one installed, let's talk a little bit about why you might want to add one to your system. What they do is you have um, oil vapors and fumes coming out the top of your engine. And what they do, they like according to the emissions, they want it to be burnt off. So 
runs out of there back into your intake, which is your line you got here going out. And the problem with that is it gets inside your intake, it gumps up the inside of your intake on your valves and everything. What this does is it lets all the vapors and fumes come through this, go into your canister. Well, your oil's heavier and your oil's going to go, drop to the bottom of the canister, only letting the fumes go back into your intake, which should keep so much oil vapors and all off your intake and valves and keep your engine running a lot cleaner. If you like this kit that we use today, we'll add a link in our description below to the JLT website. They make kits for all different types of cars, so whatever you got, they most likely have a kit for it already. And the reason we suggest this one is because it's not the cheapest kit and it's not the most expensive kit, but it looks very good quality. Everything you needed to install it came in that kit from bolts, brackets, to lines, everything you needed. So um, check that out, and also if you like this video, how about give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below, and you can check us out on the web at davidsonmotor.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank <laughs> you.